we just had a big rain quick quick and hard like quarter inch maybe half inch and you get to learn more about this system so you see where this Blaine and I are just out here about to shoot the potato gun looking at this and there's still a little low point here so not a big deal really it doesn't really matter uh, erosion wise but it's just more of a nuisance right after a rain and then you see how fine the material is here so this is this is about the lowest angle we have here because do you see yeah. this material that's sedimented here yeah that's very very fine like almost you know like very fine silt or fine um sand it's definitely silty you know i don't it's hard to tell when it's this wet that it's clay um but probably not i mean clay this would have to still be sitting here yeah. but if you look everywhere else this is about as fine as it gets super fine yeah, silt and then look where it's steeper yeah you don't see any of that because the water has picked up speed so there's even grade change with, from here to there yeah. like minor grade change steeper less steep steeper and then it, it and that's all pretty good um pretty perfect all in all i mean ideally it would all have the silt but then this we see a really good opportunity to tweak it even further so this is kind of a mild scour you see the scouring happening behind the rocks can you see the pattern of, yeah, of, totally. of, of movement of the water? Yeah, for sure. The light is perfect for this right now, actually, because we're, um, it's getting low. And we can see the shadows cast by the sun and these um, hitting these rocks. So you can see this has been scoured out like right here. Behind these rocks, materials moved. And so that material is going to our sill. And here it really moved. See that? That was like a micro rapid. Yeah, dude. And so, little, like, ants could full-on kayak this, <laughs> you know, or just float it, um, which would be awesome. They, uh, they should. Um, yeah, and then it gets steeper. So we go, there's some deltaing happening here. There's some sedimentation. This amount of material was moved and deposited here, or this size of material. And that's called the, I think it's called the... Um, the competence of the stream. Now this isn't really a stream, but it kind of is. It acts like a stream when it's raining hard. And the competence of it, I think, refers to how big of material it would move. Like some streams competence, Crazy. like there's boulders within the yeah. creek's competence, you know, mountain, think of like sawtooth or something, like yeah. full on large, huge rocks can be moved. Um, major competence. But here, we're dealing with this stuff. So. This is why ultimately we really want everything vegetated. Like this should be grassed because this mm -hmm. still will fill up our level sill with this sand. Yeah. You know, we'll have to bring it back. It's not a big deal. But, um, you know, ideally we're not conveying anything, but that's part of the cost of driving, right? It's one of the many costs of cars is that is an unavoidable erosion as long as you don't have vegetation. Yeah. So we should try to grass to over here. And that's a good... That'd be cool. That's a good, um, a clear indication of one of the design factors of this, why we didn't put this up here, right? The whole thing could have been up here. Yeah. But it's like, well, that's where we drive. Yeah. So this can all reasonably be grass. No one really totally has to do. drive on the I whole agree. thing, which is awesome. Yep. But all in all, it's looking amazing. It's looking really working very, very well. Here's some vegetation. Yep. And there's no scour, right? Look at what that vegetation's yeah, right. doing. It like, you only get so good with without vegetation it only gets yeah so stable and that's like this is the crux of like the most water being yeah this is too. the confluence right right where you are near your right foot yeah so here you can see look at the beautiful patterns see how it's moved this way a very low confidence like super fine you know it'd be interesting to take some of this and do a shake test and see is it, what is it? i can't imagine there's any clay in there because there's just very, basically no clay on the property but yeah enough um, I imagine there might be a very little bit. We are in Vermont after all, in the mountains. Here we really drop grade, but we're vegetated much better. I'd rather have like 3% grade with vegetation than 1% with none. Yeah. You know what I mean? We can see actually that that's a better, better situation. situation. Yeah. And of course it is. I mean, there's 50% 50, 50 grade pastures that probably aren't losing anything of consequence all over the world if they're grazed well you know, I'm permanently covered. Look, this guy got, you see what hit this? It totally got pushed up, this dandelion. 
Shit was nailing this. Yeah, you're right. I was taking a hit big time with debris. These are like logs. <laughs> Micro logs, you know, fall, cruising down the river. Yeah. This is a huge rapid in here. This would be like this would be the spot right? to drop, right? <laughs> kind of in here, shoot this. Come shoot this. There'd be a nice V wave right there. Look spots. at all the deposition. You see all the hay deposited? Yeah. Yeah, these, these spots moved. Right, well, don't we drop pretty good over here? Right in here. Yeah, look at all this got moved over. But it's just performing so well. And it's making food, too, at the same time. You can see, we should seed it a little more. But we're never getting any light rain to actually start the seed in the bottom. That's a good challenge. How do you establish seed, you know, right in the bottom of the channel? The weather really wants to be in your favor. Laying a, um, you know, a mat, like a, a, a cork choir cloth, you know, like coconut choir for, with seed in it. Look, here's some erosion. It's a little bit of scour. Look, you see how it's exposing um, roots? Yeah. So there's actually, this soil was just removed right here. Mm. And those roots were just under soil before this rain. And that material is probably, a lot of it's probably right here. Didn't actually make it. <laughs> Maybe this is it right here. <laughs> I don't know, I think it would've washed in little pieces, but um, there's a deposition zone right here before all this vegetation. And then the, we're almost in the sill here. Eating the peas. Radish, turnip mm -hmm. greens too. Oh, it's all succulent right now, huh? Mm -hmm. There is gonna be deer heaven here with all the radish and turnip. Cause they're gonna fatten up. They love coming in for this stuff. So succulent in the fall after a frost. Yep. It's, like it's like food they want more than anything. As far as I've seen.